Welcome back everybody to Paymax Tactical. Today we are going to be talking about our new Gen 2 bull carrier groups featuring our excellent code. Let's get into it. To the town of our free who rode his train to one fine day. Hard hardly spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say. No one dared to ask his business, no one dared to make a slip. The train to all right, so everybody is familiar with our Generation 1 Bold Carrier Groups featuring our x -Look coding, and a little, we are gonna get into detail specifically about what this proprietary coding is. But we're also have some, we also have some very significant changes to the actual Bolt Carrier Group compared to this Gen 1 version to this now Gen 2 version, which is going to be the standard for all carriers and combos that we sell going forward. So just like our Generation 1s, the bolts for the Generation 2 will be 9310 steel. The difference is that instead of nitriding the bolt, we will be using a nickel boron coating on the actual bolt. And we'll get into that coating as well as to why it's not x in just a second. The, the extractor is going to be phosphate instead of nickel boron. The reason, because nickel boron is a slick coating. coating so you want that easy to clean, get, in, get, get into all these grooves, and make sure that you're able to take care and maintain your bolt effectively. But you also don't want to make a slick surface for what's supposed to be grabbing the brass and, and removing it from your rifle or pistol. So therefore, we want this to have a coating that's gonna be a little bit more conducive to gripping that brass and removing it without uh, jeopardizing this part and opening up to, to rust or corrosion. So that's why that's gonna have a phosphate finish there. Uh, we do have a nice little rose gold ejector. That's a nice little touch, a nice little flare and look to that bolt. That's gonna come standard with all the Gen 2 versions. And the reason why we use a nickel boron coating instead of the x slick on the bolt is because our x slick coating is actually an aerosol-based uh, ceramic combination, proprietary. And the reason why we don't use the bolt is because it's just very difficult to get a perfectly smooth surface with all these different angles and grooves on these bolts. The other thing about the, this particular bolt compared to the Gen 1 to the Gen 2 is that it's chrome lined. So you're gonna have a huge performance increase in regards to cleaning and wear with these bolts considering that they're chrome lined and not just nitrided like you would have had with those Generation 1. So we listened to a lot of the feedback that you guys gave us in the parts and components that were going into our carriers. As always, the actual x coating has a 6,500 round count guarantee on that car carrier coating, and then you have the option to actually get it recoded. Uh, but the bull carrier group still does and always did prior, had a lifetime warranty guarantee on it as well. And we wanna make sure that that is able to continue and just provide the best performance that we can to you guys. So we listened to your feedback and we made some adjustments with the new stuff going forward. Our cam pins have now been upgraded to stainless steel. Again, a little bit more durability there. You're gonna, it's gonna be a little bit better for overall performance, run a little bit smoother, easy to clean, a little bit harder material. Um, so that's gonna be available in all the new carriers as well. The firing pin for the new Gen 2s will be an 8640. It's hard chrome plated. Again, we want something that's easy to clean, but also durable, robust, and it's not gonna leave you hanging. So that's gonna be the firing pin uh, that we're gonna utilize for the carriers going forward currently. Uh, the other important thing here too is on the actual carriers, not only is your bolt chrome lined, but also the key. So the key is also gonna be chrome lined. And this is very important because the tolerances between these two portions specifically uh, is very, has to be very exact and it's very specific in order for it to function correctly. And if, if it is off in even the slightest amount, it's gonna change overall the longevity of bolt carrier group combination as well as uh, the overall reliability. We are gonna have our hard staking on the carrier as we as you typically see with the past generation ones, that's pretty much state standard. The coating itself, this is where you're gonna see a big difference. So the actual coating is going to be the same in the sense of application and the chemical profile. However, what we have done is you'll notice in the Gen 1, this bottom plate was always solid coated with the same excellent coating. And then we also have on the Gen 2, look at that, we don't have a coat of x slick here. And there's two reasons for that. One is the x slick coating is 
very good and reliable in regards to durability. It does take good impact damage, but it really is designed for a linear path of friction. So it's designed to have that wear back and forth. And that just has to do with the molecular structure of the coating. When you have your hammer lower uh, of receiver, that hammer is reciprocating back and forth underneath this flat of this bulk carrier group. And it starts to hammer it up. And that direct impact time and time again will actually start to wear that coating out on this bar. And it really doesn't do much to change performance, but it makes it look kind of roughed up and it's not really ideal to the fit and finish of our product. So instead what we decided to do was, well, how can we make that look nicer and give a nice fit finish, but also provide some increased performance in regards to that location. And so what we have here is the undercoat of this carrier before it's treated for our coating is actually a manganese phosphate coating. That manganese phosphate coating is designed specifically to retain oil. And so what will happen is when you put a little bit of lubrication on here, it's going to hold that oil almost as like a reserve as you continue to run this bulk carrier group. So the x coating will continue to perform as it usually would. We typically would recommend that you use a little bit of oil with the x coating anyway because friction is uh, applicable to everything, no matter what it is. It's just a matter of how long something will last against that friction. And so a little bit of oil does go a long way to improve the lifespan of your x carrier as well. When you start to wear through your x coating, you'll actually see black. That's the manganese phosphate. That's still going to help keep that lubrication flowing through your weapon system because it just re retains the oil inside that carrier. Uh, and then below that, you'll start to hit silver, which will be your base metal. And that's when you should probably start considering to send this in and get it recoded through us. The tail on this bulk carrier group is going to be M16 or long tail cut. So you can throw this into a full automatic rated weapon system and you'll run full auto. Uh, overall, we have put in some significant upgrades in the Gen, Gen 1. The price point of the original Gen 1s were $139.95. Uh, these have bumped up to $159.95 and will be the new standard going forward. But we had to do some uh, price increase also, not only because of the upgrades, but because of the inflation in the last two years. So if you guys have any questions, comments, please feel free to drop them below. Thanks for staying with us and check us out online.